I don't want meat up my ass. Holy shit, yes sir! Hey, that's disgusting! Please! <laughs> The following program has been rated R. For retarded! Good. Alright, everyone, uh, this is Jane's Reality TV, Exotic, uh, Fruit Night, here. Uh, this, um, what we thought was bread fruit is actually bread nut. Uh, which is fine, because we like to try new things. Uh, this stuff is, unlike the bread fruit, it's not a fruit, it's more of a potato that grows on a tree instead of growing the ground. Now with this, when it's not super duper uh, green, means it's not ripe, or means it's ripe. And with this, you're supposed to take the seeds out of it like so. These things here, that sort of looks like chestnuts, or walnuts or whatever, uh, you're supposed to take them and cook them and boil them in salted water. And I heard the not so right stuff ripe stuff you're supposed to cook in a frying pan and kind of eat that way so what I'm going to do anyways is just throw in some butter after I take all the, the, the nuts or the seeds out and put them in the pot over there after I put them in there I'm going to take all the rinds and middle cushy part which Jesse Bailey is currently doing for me and put them into the pot or the pan over there with some butter and I'm going to fry those up and see how that tastes. This is considered an Indian delicacy from the Philippines and we will see how that goes. So yes, like I said, take out the seeds or nuts and you throw them into a pot of water here. Once I get them all in there I'll start cooking them up. I haven't put on the heat yet. Uh, and then put the riny, squishy stuff into the pot there with some butter and cook it up until it's done. I guess probably like a, a golden brown color. And then check back with us in a couple minutes when that's all done. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, welcome back again to Exotic Fruit Night with uh, Jane's Reality TV. Uh, once again, we are eating bread nut, not bread fruit. That was the mistake. We weren't sure what we were getting at the grocery store because there was a bunch of spiky, what I thought was bread fruit at the top, and then what I thought was bread fruit at the bottom, which wasn't so spiky, so I just kind of grabbed what I thought was the fruit part. Anywho, we have bread nut here. Uh, now that we have scooped out all of the seeds, I uh, have them in the pot here, and I'm going to turn it to, well, max at first, just to get it to a quick boil. They said to cook the seeds in salted water, so I, you know, put a generous amount of salt into the pot. Uh, what we have to the right here in the pan, which I'm going to put up to six, is, uh, yeah, it's kind of squishy. It's not the kind of, it's not the stuff that was surrounding the seeds. It was like at the very center of the bread nut, uh, like you cut it open. And you look into the center, there's squishy stuff, and then there's like pulpous stuff holding the seeds there. Uh, we got rid of all that because we're pretty sure that that's not what we wanted. So we got that cooking up here with some butter. And it's supposed to have, I guess, the flavor of a very sweet potato. And we're just going to cook it and see how that goes. And hopefully it'll be a lot better tasting than just, you know, picking the stuff right out of the bread and not eating it like that. Which is kind of a very sour very bitter taste and Google did not really have much of an answer as to what you're supposed to really eat uh, luckily we found the information that we did which did say cook it cook the seeds in the salted boiling water and fry up the, the squishier part so check back with us again in another 10 15 minutes when this is done cooking and we'll let you know how it tastes Uh, welcome back again for the third time here. Everything is as cooked as it can be. Uh, we got the, the center squishy part all cooked up here. And we're going to try some.
Thank you. It's not too bad. Well, it like, tastes like a cross between like a the bread from a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. And the texture. And of like roast beef. Time. But like very mushy though because it was mush to begin with. Because it was mush. But tastes good though. But yeah, it, it's uh, it's always just supposed to be like prepared and served with something else, not just eaten by its own. Uh, but not bad, not bad considering. Um, the seeds, are, I've, I've cooked the hell out of them, I don't think you can cook them anymore. I've already broken a piece open here, and uh, it's, you know... Snuck boy out of here! It, it, no, it's not hard anymore, and the... the the inside part is soft. I can just kind of scoop it out and uh, try some. Uh, and it does kind of taste like a. It's not. It's not great. It, it tastes kind of like a bittery potato. I don't want to try that. And you know, one once again, I don't think it's just supposed to be eaten on its own. I think it's supposed to be served with something else. They said it's an Indian delicacy and I'm supposed to be prepared like be included with curry so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this I might skin like all these and take out the mush and put it together into something and go from there but uh, the rest of that stuff over there in that plate uh, I might wrap up and send over to me and Jesse Bailey's mom crazy mama and see if she likes it so yeah uh, this includes the second exotic fruit uh, special with JNC Reality TV. Um, unfortunately, we got the bread nut, not the bread fruit, but hey, uh, live and learn. Are you going to tell them uh, what will be on the next video? What you'll be trying to look forward to? Oh, uh, next video we'll, we'll be trying the dragon fruit. So stay tuned for that. Show them. We like. finally got it. Kind of a little sneak peek here. Dragon fruit is from Japan. And it is kind of a heart-shaped pink and green fruit. Put it on their light and it'd be better. better. It's very vibrant colors. We will be trying that next time. Maybe Sunday. Which is in two days from now because today's Friday. And uh, March first. This is the the first of March. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. so this is March first, and this is what we have to look forward to next Exotic Fruit Week on JMC Reality TV. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and see you then. It would hurt like fuck. What well, would hurt like fuck? A nine-inch penis. And go, how would a nine inch penis not be good for a woman? Well, it would hurt. Considering like it only, fuck. considering the, uh, the the first three inches only feels good for a girl. Um, yeah, add about what six inches onto that. Tell me that wouldn't be painful. It'd be fun to watch go in and out. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on, tell me you don't like watching that thing go it in there and out of there. In half. That'd be like instant pregnancy. No, isn't isn't the, like, oh, my the, vagina. Gap, the gap between the entrance and the the uterus, isn't it like your cervix, which is supposed to stay closed, not no, be I know, engulfed but that, by nine inch penis. Isn't oh. that like Check it out. that's that's quite the far travel. So. <laughs> no, the top has like the little block, ah, and then the it, little block. It's like I've heard of the blue like a block. balls, but blue bag. <laughs> it it almost. It's almost like a bone. Like a block. Like a block. But if you go just in behind that, that's like your cervix. So if you got a nine inch penis, it would go past your stopper and it would go right through your cervix. Boom, Ooh. instant pregnancy. Ew. <laughs> so anyone with a nine inch penis should go and donate their sperm. Because that's all they'd be good for. Having sex would be useless. Well, I mean, like, they can control, you know. They'd have to do one of these. Whatever, they could still have sex. It, it wouldn't be like a thrust.
just it'd just be like I'm gonna stand here and wiggle and hope to God yeah, it doesn't be go to a car. It would be a mud. <laughs> oh, I should have just threw in this one. This one's even smaller. Here, give me that. This is the remains of the bread nut. Bread nut. Bread nut. Da. 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 Scope. It is cult. No one eats this shit around here except for friggin' me because I'm crazy fast. Cause that's cult. Like a blouk. Like a blouk! There you go. Ah, oh, much better. Oh. So, Nick, you don't want to try any of my nuts? <laughs> I would love to. I'm just joking. No, fuck Nick, that. Seriously, go try oh, I dropped my nut. They're cooked. They actually I don't, taste I don't really even, good. I don't even like potatoes, so like bitter potatoes would just... They don't me. taste like potatoes at he all. Said, he said they taste like bitter potatoes. He so. ate a bad nut. Where are the nuts? He ate a bad nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It'd be fun to watch go in and out. <laughs> uh, like, oh, my vagina! Bread nuts. No one eats this shit around here except for friggin' me because I'm crazy fast. Like a there. bloke! Man! Llama. That's a bad llama. 